All right, uh, it's coming along, getting these uh, desoldered to uh, to inspect them, and then I'll check continuity, etc. So I've got three of them out. I've got two that need repair, and there's one left in here. So I'm going to prop you up on top of my coffee cup here and see if just show you how I'm doing it. Now, electronics guys out there, um, you're probably gonna cringe at me here, but uh, please realize this is not my forte. I'm a uh, mechanical and a wrench type guy, and I'm just trying to do the best I can to get this old truck running for, for my boy. So, we are basically melting the solder, pushing the pin down a bit, let that set, working my way out. Okay, so then we'll do the next one. Come on, loosen up. Give it up, buddy. Give it up. Here. So I'm pushing down with the tip of this knife, which I use to open the cover as I melt the solder. Okay, now I'm going to let the solder set. I'm going to push the other one down a little more. So just back and forth, working it out. Going back in is going to be a lot easier. Okay, I think this one's pretty much out on this side. side here. That side out. There we go. There's our coil. Okay, now. See those pins are loose in the plastic. Ouch, that's hot. <laughs> Still a bit loose in the plastic. So, my plan is to Glue this, glue this, inspect all the little wires. And on these ones, of course, repair the little wires. On the board, I'm going to um, hollow out all the holes and pre-tin them. Actually, just they are tinned already, so I'm just gonna hollow them out with a little drill bit, the right size for the pins. Then I will uh, put the coil in from the bottom and resolder the pins. Okay, next step on the coils that I took out is a uh, continuity check. If we get a beep, it means the coil is still good. If it's dead, then Obviously, coils and no good. So let's see here. Oh. That there, the test. Okay. That coil's good. good that coil is good that coil is good okay so so I know that these coils are good internally I know they're good internally so I don't have to worry about those being burnt out now these ones that the wires broke off. I don't know that my tips are pointy enough. I might have to go file them, but uh, let's see if I can get anything. That one. No, my tip isn't sharp enough to see that one. But the other one. No, 
I gotta go char sharpen the tips. And then we'll try again. Okay, got the tips sharpened. And uh, so the next step here is to test the continuity of the coils that I'm going to attempt to repair, because if there's no continuity and they're damaged internally, then this whole thing ends right now and there's no point going much further. Yay, that one's good. Next one. I can get onto that wire in this one. Hmm. This one. Okay, my black is connecting well. I think this coil, oh, there we go. So this coil is showing some continuity as well. Okay, so we have a flying chance at this thing. Let's just, uh, huh, this is gonna be interesting. Difficult at best. This is where I wish I had friends who were microelectronics type guys or gals who could uh, figure out how to get a connection on that little wire pigtail sticking out. It's so short. This one's even shorter. Hmm. Well, I'm gonna take a break. Go refill my coffee cup and contemplate. Well, if anybody knows where to buy these coils, this specific number, that would be helpful. Um, I don't know that I'm going to be able to get figure out how to connect to that. So, here's what I'm thinking. Obviously the number is very specific and would relate to the number of wraps on the coil, I think, because I noticed that this number in row one is different from this number in row two. Um, anyway, sorry for the little sidetrack. Here's what I'm thinking. The coil is in there in this cup and it's just crimped there's a crimp line there I don't know if you can see that in the camera so perhaps if I took a Dremel tool and I zip cut the crimp off then I could take the coil out maybe give it half a turn so that it would give me some extra length through the of wire through these holes to work with and then I can put the cap put back together probably just a big gob of epoxy glue and um, yeah another sip of coffee